Welcome back. This is John Locke. And today, I'm answering this question about the people also ask question schema. This person is um, asking this question. It says, these days I increasingly see a box in the search engine results titled people also ask in the search queries. Each question itself seems to pick an answer snippet from a web page. Is there any specific structured data, meaning schema data, that we should put around our content that increases our chances of being featured there? This person pretty much gives the answer. Uh, you don't need to do anything or there's nothing that you can do to influence it as far as adding you know schema data or structured data or whatever um, Google is going to choose something and and put it there on the home page from the set of, of web pages that is crawled and indexed there's so what basically what it's saying is you can't just hack your way into being chosen here um, write better content Write better content than the sites that already appear in those box. So there are way, this person goes on to say there's ways to know if your content is even eligible for appearing in one of those boxes. Um, okay, so here's an example of what this person is talking about. So here it says, um, so I googled, just say to describe what's going on here, I googled job outlook for electrical engineering and there are 22 million results and there's a, a little knowledge box here that says projected 10-year growth is zero this is from 2014 uh, and then there's this people also ask box right here now this appears a lot like near the top of uh, search queries sometimes it's a little further down sometimes it's you know three or four spaces down but let's see what's here people also ask is there a demand for electrical engineers so this is from uh, bls.gov and it's a little snippet that answers this question so electrical and electronic engineers. Overall employment of electrical and electronic engineers is protect, projected to grow 7% from 2016 to 2026, about as fast as the average for all occupations. These engineers will also remain in demand to develop sophisticated consumer electronics. And you can see that uh, this, this is probably a question that people are typing in to Google. But you can see that it's looking for words that are in that question. So as you can see, these words where it says electrical engineers and demand, it's all bolded. So let's see if we can find the, the part here that it was actually taken from the page. So the Bureau of Labor S Statistics, electrical and electric engineers. So here's quick facts. So it looks like it's rewriting this little part because uh, it's this little headline here. Or it's probably this little headline here, actually, that it, that's taking. So let's see where it says demand, uh, this part where it's taking this from, overall employment. It's not here. So right here it's something very similar. Overall employment is projected to grow 2% from... 2018 to 2028, but that's not from this. This says from 2016 to 2026. So maybe that's an older version of this. Uh, so job outlook, let's see right here. So this might be the older version of that. This might have been rewritten, but this it's taken from this page, obviously. So it sounds like this was from okay so it sounds like this is from an earlier version of this and this might have been just updated okay so is this page in the top 10 for this oh 
It's right there. It's number one. So I took it from this page. Interesting. Okay, let's see if we can find something else here. Job Outlook Electrical Engineering. Are engineering technicians in demand? Again, this looks like it's from this page. Employment of environmental engineering technicians is projected to grow 9%. Let's see if that's the same page. Okay, so it's a little bit different. But it's taken it from this. 9% from 2018 to 2028. So that's current. You can see where it's taken it from, right? You answer the question succinctly and be a high-ranking page or a page that's likely to be on page one or high up here. That's how you get in the people also ask. Adding schema is not going to this magic potion. And I'll show you what schema data is. Schema.org is um, it's a type of markup or JSON data, basically like code that goes around um, the page, adds extra information about the page. Though a lot of people think this is kind of like a, a magic formula or a magic bullet that you can use to like automatically get secret things uh, in search results. There are some cases like that, but this is not one of them. So you can mark up different you know things. Uh, there's definitely things that you so technical article news main entity a page article section you can mark all this stuff up on your page Google is still going to understand it it doesn't mean that it's going to pick it to be in this little box as you can see the Bureau of Labor Statistics is a site that's uh, it's obviously got a lot of authority and it gives the answers has a proven track record of giving people the information that they want. So let's see if we can find another one that's likely to be here. Is it difficult to be an electrical engineer? How hard is electrical engineering from Quora? Okay, so let's do a little experiment here. I want to do an experiment. How hard is electrical engineering? Or what is the question? Is it hard to be an electrical engineer? Okay, so if I type the question in, is it hard to be an electrical engineer? All right, let us see if Quora is here. Oh, how hard is electrical engineering? It's number one. Is that the same page? How hard is electrical engineering? People also ask, is it hard to be an electrical engineer? You can see Quora is number one. And on this page where it says, in the people also ask box. Is it hard to be an electrical engineer? Guess what? Comes up. The number one result. How hard is electrical engineering? April 17th, 2015. And look, it's from 2015. So um, the schema, adding schema to the page, no. That's not likely to get you in this people also ask box. What you've got to do is rank on page one or preferably rank near number one or at number one. Which engineering is most in demand? Let's do one more here because I'm curious. Eight of the most in demand engineering jobs for 2019. You can see this is a bulleted list. Actually, let's go here. This is from newengineer.com. Right? Is it still loading? Okay, now it's loaded. Okay. So you can see that it's got a numbered list here. Data science and machine learning, automation and robotics engineer, right? Let's look at this. These are H2s, right? This, this is not like an ordered list. These are H2 tags h2 headings right but you can see what it does is it takes these and kind of truncates them it took like the first line from this one and then it just took like the headings from the rest of the page 
But if I, let's search which engineering is most in demand. So study.com is at the top. It's got its own deal here, right? Oh, eight of the most in demand engineering jobs for 2020. Ah, it says for 2019, but that's where we just were. So these people also ask, really seems to me, if you're ranking number one or near number one, that's what's going to get you here. Not schema markup or anything like that. So I guess the answer to this is try and rank number one for a question that people would type into Google. So type questions into Google for something that you you have a page that you would want to rank for and see if you come up number one. And if you do, you might be eligible for one of these people also ask boxes. Hope that answers this question. My name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. I'm here every single day answering questions on SEO. Hey, I want to thank all the new subscribers who have come on recently. Really means a lot. All right, I'll be here tomorrow. Till next time. Peace.